Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do a One Piece discussion video. So before I get started, this video will contain spoilers. If you are not up to date with chapter, let's say chapter 715. So if you're not that far on the manga, leave. It's that simple. Leave, and I will see you later. Have a nice day. I gave you fair warning, so I don't want to see any PMs. Oh my god, what the fuck? Spoilers! Oh my god! Like, dude, listen. I gave you a fair warning. The title is... Yeah, I know. The title itself is a spoiler in of itself. I understand that. However, you guys do not want to be spoiled any further. So again, leave the video and I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Now, for those of you guys who are still here, this video is going to revolve and focus on the Admiral Ryo Kyugyu, the Green Bull, and his powers and his personality. Now, let me just say this, okay? This all stems from a PM that I got yesterday. And the, throughout the day, well, mostly today, and, well, basically, I spent a few hours doing some research, okay? I did some research on the mythology of the bull. I went to my internal archives to find out stuff about the color green and its and its association with uh, certain powers in anime and manga and also I did some research about Musashi Miyamoto and that is actually relevant in this whole video so I want to read you this PM that I got from this individual right and he's a fan of mine in Germany I won't say his name his or her name because I don't have their permission but I'll read the PM verbatim Hi, King of Lightning. What's up, man? I am a big chick, individual. I have no idea. Uh, I am a big fan of your weekly One Piece reviews. I live in Germany, and in one of my most favorite blogs about One Piece, there is some interesting post about the Admiral Green Bull. On the last page of One Piece Volume 70, Oda drew a picture of a very famous Japanese actor who is called Toshiro Mifune with horns on his head. He played, for example, the legendary samurai Musashi Miyamoto. Considering that all the Admiral's appearance and, to a certain extent, their personality is based on famous actors in their most popular role, this drawing is somewhat interesting. It also It is also peculiar that Oda drew Mifune with horns and now introduced a character named Ryo Kyugyu, Green Bull. Considering all that, it is not unlikely that Mifune is really going to be the inspiration for the newest Admiral Ryo Kyugyu. Maybe you can mention this in maybe you can mention this info in, in your next review. Uh, dude, I'm one upping you because I'm doing a full blown discussion video on this. Now, let me show you a picture that Oda drew right here. And I'm gonna keep this picture in the bottom left hand corner of the video. So apparently Oda drew this. Because I don't have Volume 70 One Piece. In fact, Volume 70, I think, isn't translated into English yet, is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But but either way, I don't have the volume. I haven't seen this picture up, up until today. I mean, yesterday, actually. And all I can say is that, well, this main fact be real cute. You know, just a dude with horns on his head. Okay, fine. And the thing here is that what you have to realize, and what this, per what this person says about uh, the Admirals is actually uh, relatively true. When it comes to their physical appearance, they emulate actors, very popular Japanese actors. When it comes to their personality, they emulate th the role, the most popular role in a movie or movie series that these actors have played in. And when it comes to this person, Mifune, who actually died in 1997, he, I believe his, his most famous role uh, is this Samurai Trilogy. And he played the role of Musashi Miyamoto, who was a very, very, very famous Japanese samurai. Now, the thing about it is that when it comes to his personality, it's going to be based on that person, Musashi Miyamoto which the actor played. And what we know 
And here's what I know, because again, I did some research, okay? When it comes to the person, Musashi Miyamoto, his childhood is actually, relatively relatively speaking, in the dark. It's not, not a lot of stuff is known about his childhood. But we do know is that he, at some point, his father died, and he had to move, or like, before, his father had to like, kill some dudes, basically. And the clan of the dudes that he killed weren't pleased, so he had to move in, like, into the woods. So... One of the main things, and I'll show you pictures. I'll, so here, let me show you a few pictures here and there about the uh, role that the actor played in this samurai trilogy. So you saw the pictures, right? And the pictures portray Musashi Miyamoto as a wild, rough dude. He's his hair's in the wind. Uh, he's he's rough, like he's been in the wild for a few decades, and that's the way it is in the actual series Vagabond, uh, a, a scene in manga, where Musashi Miyamoto is actually portrayed as a wild, rough individual. So when it comes to Ryu Kyugu's personality, assuming that Ichiro Oda is basing the personality of Musashi Miyamoto that was portrayed by the actor Mifune in the Samurai Trilogy movie series in japan which i believe is called uh actually i think it's called samurai trilogy uh give me a quick second here yeah it's called samurai trilogy by uh hashiro inaki oh no inagaki uh basically we can assume that re Google's personality is, is gonna be the same thing he's gonna be a wild rough dude uh not his physical appearance but his personality he's gonna be he may just flip the handle sometimes just go crazy just go apeshit nuts that's the way he may be portrayed in the actual manga. Now, when it comes to his powers and abilities, I had to go back into the mythology of the bull. And I had to go back to my internal archives about the color green in the anime manga power spectrum. Now, when it comes to the color green, there are three things that come to mind when it, when it comes to power. Plants, earth, and time. Now, time is a stretch. I've seen a few times, no pun intended, where in some anime they portray the power of time control or time manipulation as the color green. So, I mean, I mean, if it was time, because Oda said that, I think Oda said that Akihina was the strongest admiral, but it's just that time is too hacks. It's way, it's like, well, like, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say time, all right? I would stick to mainly Earth and plants because that is more synonymous with the bull part, green bull. And in the mythology of the bull over the course of history, the bull is portrayed as a god or a goddess or an entity of uh, fertility. Also, in Egypt, the bull is portrayed as... Uh, entity of life, vitality, and power. So, and also there's this thing about the the uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh, and how there's this individual named um, Enkiku or Enkidu, and apparently this individual uh, he was raised and born in the wild, so that would also help. Uh, push that notion of uh, Ryu Yuku being a wild dude that may, you know, flip the handle here and there, almost like Buggy, because Buggy, he does that. Buggy, like, he flips the he flips his shit sometimes. He does. It's just that with Buggy, it's for comedic purposes. With Ryu, with, uh, Ryu Kyugyu, it may, be, it may be more for serious, hardcore purposes. But when it comes to the power, when it comes to the bull attribute, he may be more of a physical dude. So he, so basically what, what, what I'm expecting is a person like Toph from Avatar. Where Toph is not really a physically, you know, built person. But Toph is a, has a rough personality and is an earthbender. And when it comes to Ryu Kyugyu, I'm leaning more towards earth, to be honest. Plants, I've seen plants all over one piece i mean usopp is a prime example he has plant stars when it came to the uh film z that ninja guy could control and, and uh, manipulate plants 
Uh, plants are... I can't say that they're very prevalent in One Piece uh, when it comes to plant control, but I've seen it a lot here and there. And Usopp, he kind of fits the bill already with that whole entire plant manipulation. So I'm leaning more towards Earth control, like an Earthbender in Avatar. Only One Piece style, like Logia Earth, or maybe even Paramis Earth. Um, Logia would fit more towards the old Admiral scheme, but Paramisa would fit towards the newer scheme, because Fujitora, he's Paramisia. At least that's what we're assuming. I mean, that's what we're assuming. But it's just that we haven't seen a single Earth dude in One Piece. Not, not a single one. Not a single one. And Ryukyu would be perfect, all right? A bull who is synonymous with power and vitality and Earth. Gaia is known for that, for those same attributes. Uh, Earth itself is known for actual uh, fertility. Um, and it's the same thing, you know, like Mother Earth. You know, Mother Earth, the bearer of all life and so on and so forth. So that's the thing. The thing about it is that when it comes to the bull and the power of Earth, they're synonymous. So... That's why I'm thinking the personality scheme is going to be like that of Musashi Miyamoto, the way he is portrayed in the Samurai Trilogy movie by the actor Mafune Toshiro. But when it comes to the power scheme, because Earth and um, the Bull are synonymous in mythology, then we may see him be an Earth guy and um, be like physically uh, well built. That's what we can expect, in my personal opinion. Uh, at least that's what I expect. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about Ryu Kyugyu and uh, his power scheme? And what he may or, or may not be able to do and so on and so forth. The time thing, I think, is a stretch. That's a massive stretch. But Earth, I think, is a lot better. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a lot, lot better. Or he could be a zone of just bull. That'd be lame as fuck, but what? A Minotaur zone? Eh, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm leaning more towards a Logia of Earth. And he has a wild man personality. And his physical appearance is that of this Toshiro Mifune individual. And that's what I'm expecting. Those four things. So once again, let me know in the comment section down below. And what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to post... um. I'll post the links to the source material that I used for this video. Yeah, I'll do that. So you guys can go over yourself and give me your thoughts on that. So I'm done. King Lightning. For sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.